Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp and we are today at the 8th video of Cypress Automation Crash Course. So, so far we have covered the basic commands needed to interact with web pages and we have covered py.picture and now in this video we are going to see how to read and write data from a text or JSON file. So, let's get started. So, let me create a new JavaScript file to start our testing. Let me type the basic structure. So we are going to use cy.write file command to write data in a text or JSON file. So here if you see the definition of cy.write file it has two parameters the first one is the path to a file and the second one is the data actual data you want to save in that file so let us create a file sample.text come on let us enter some random text hello world so here we did not mention the path of the file because this file will actually create in the actual folder where your test is. If not, you don't, you don't want it in your actual folder and you want to create it in different folder, you have to specify the actual path you needed, like users slash etc. So here we just gonna save it in the same folder. So we are giving it and let us run it. So to run it, I'm gonna open my test runner and click on readwrite.javascript so here you can see the test is passed and write file sample.txt is created so if you go and see under the folder you can see the sample.txt has been created if you double click you can see the text has been added to the file as expected so here i'm going to add one more command to type in something else the same sample.txt and the thing here you have to note is asynchronously write data to a file replacing the file if it is already exist so we are going to see that so let me type thank you and save it so that our test runs so two both comments have executed now if you go and see into your visual studio sample.txt you can see only the second line we have sent to the file why because this command is asynchronous and if you are trying to enter the data it is going to replace it and put the latest data you have given so if you want to append the data to the file you have to set a flag So here in the flag, I'm going to give A plus. So which will actually help you to append your data to the file. So let me save it and try. Now the test has been executed. Let me open sample.txt. So now you have seen hello world, thank you. Both the text have been appended in the file. So let me add a new line. And now you can see. The changes reflected in the file so now we have learned how to write data into text file so if suppose you want to create a JSON file and enter the data it is going to follow the same method and I'm going to create sample j.json and the data I'm going to enter is in open braces name and single quotes coders camp email media at gmail.com so let me save this now so as I have executed the test you can see three comments has been executed and the sample J or JSON has been created as well so if I click on this file now you can see the data entered in our code has been reflected in exact JSON format. So yes, this is how you create a file, either text or JSON and enter the data into the file. You can customize the data by getting any field from your web page and passing it on to this 
and so you can tweak it as you like so now we are going to learn how we are going to read the data from text or json file so we have already covered cy.fixtures command in our previous video which helped us to read the data from json file or any fixture file you have created inside your folder so here we are going to use cy.read file so let me put an it So here I'm going to put read file. So here is the first parameter is path and then the options to read the file flag and etc. So let me give file name. So here I'm going to give sample.text and here I'm going to use the then command because these commands are asynchronous. I'm going to get the data of sample.text in then command. And here I'm assigning a value. This is user defined. You can put any name as you like. So here I'm going to log the data which is in the sample.txt file. So the code is simple. You must be familiar with these lines by now as we have covered so much before in our previous videos. So here we got the data from sample.txt and assigned it to a va variable value. And we are going to use that value to do anything. So you can even input this data into any text field and etc. By now, I'm going to simply print it. So let us save it and try. So you can see two tests and inside read test, you can see hello world. Thank you has been printed in your log. So yes, we have learned to read the data from text file. It is going to be the same for JSON instead of sample.txt. We are going to give sample.json. So I'm going to try that as well. So let me copy. So here I'm going to change the file name and one thing we have to note here is in pictures we don't have to mention the extension because it automatically search for this kind of files. But here in read file you have to exactly mention the path as well as the extension and detail thing about the file so that it read the exact file we needed. So I'm going to type sample j or json. So here my value has been assigned to a new variable let me declare it as temp. So as we have sample j or json has an email and a name, we want to specifically access the data. So here let me add one more manually saying message. So I have manually added third data and saved it. So here I want to access these things separately. So I'm going to put temp.name and cy.log temp.email these two things let me not add message so that we'll get a clear idea whether these two data alone are being reflected in ui so let me save this so yes again our tests executed if you see under this You can clearly see it has displayed only the name and email address, but it did not display the message we have entered in our sample j.json. So this is how we read and write data to text or JSON file using cy.write file and read file commands. So you can tweak them as you like by adding external data and stuff. So we are going to look at that briefly when we try and work on a real project. So Hope this video is helpful. Look forward for more coding and testing in Cypress. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, hit like and subscribe. Thank you.